Luzerne County officials are ramping up efforts to respond to COVID-19 concerns. The county manager held a news conference to update people on its response. The conference was live streamed on PAHomepage.com as well as our broadcast on Eyewitness News. And the I-Team's Andy Mahalshik joins us now from the Luzerne County Courthouse with more. Andy. Well, good afternoon, Candace. The county has been under a state of emergency since Sunday afternoon, but today more steps were taken to try to prevent the spread of that virus. A skip loader carries boxes of breathing masks to the front of the offices of Kuharchik Construction in Exeter. They are being donated by the company to the county. They'll be used by county employees such as children and youth caseworkers who have to enter homes on a daily basis. Once again, this is citizens of Luzerne County taking care of our own, making sure that people are taken care of. When we realize that this is not about you know making money or an opportunity, this is about life and death. Um, I mean, some of the statistics are actually startling of how widespread and impactful this is going to be. Okay, have you been out of the country? Nope. Okay, any respiratory illnesses? Nope. And were you around anybody with the COVID-19? Not that I'm aware of. I don't. I don't know. And there are no exceptions. Everyone entering any county building, such as the Penn Place Annex, will be asked those same questions. So they're mostly forthcoming. If they're sick, they'll tell me they're sick, and then they're not, you know, able to come into the building. Back at the main courthouse, several blocks away, these signs greet courthouse visitors. They are required to enter through the rear door, the only door where the public can gain access. Yasin Pace took it all in stride. As if the courthouse is doing it, I know it's a big deal. Um, they're saying go through the rear, the rear part of the courthouse. I'm not sure what that means, um, but yeah, it's a big deal. Now, I can tell you many county employees are very concerned about COVID-19, but they say at this point in time, it's not stopping them from coming to work to do their jobs. Reporting at Luzerne County Courthouse, Andy Bahal, Chicago Witness News. Thank you, Andy. Luzerne County Council will hold a special meeting tomorrow via video to approve a formal state of emergency, and that enables the county to access federal and state assistance more quickly.